guys in this quick little tutorial I just wanted to give you guys the basics of layering and masking in Photoshop so I have three layers here all of the same waterfall this is Elowa Falls in the Columbia River Gorge sadly this trail is not open yet after the fire last year but I visited a few times on my trip there last year I kept going back because this is one of my favorite waterfalls and I really just didn't feel like I was getting it right. I couldn't find a composition I loved and I couldn't find a composition that did it justice. A lot of the moss covered logs and stones weren't very mossy so the stream downstream of the main fall was kind of messy and very chaotic so I did the best I could with this big boulder. I released this image last year, but I've, I've lately been trying to use some new techniques that I've learned to do a better job of post-processing. But I'm just going to use this as an example to show you the basics of applying a mask and blending a couple of exposures for different elements of the photograph and, and basically just using layers and masks, which for a lot of people that have not used Photoshop, you know, this is the basics. This is the basis for how Photoshop works, and it's very important to have a firm understanding of layers and, and basic masking. So I'll just hop right into it. My base layer is my foreground. I had to focus stack this image so that the rock and the boulder and the water here, kind of up until this this big boulder here in the middle, is in focus and then if we zoom in to 100% we can see that sharpness starts to fall off right behind that rock everything gets a little bit soft but I have a few other exposures here where I adjusted focus and also changed my shutter speed to get the trees nice and sharp without the wind blowing and then I have another one to kind of, that was a longer exposure also focused on the background so that I could get the smooth water back um, in the waterfall so couple different exposures that I need to blend together and use elements of so the way that I work it makes the most sense to me to have my base layer in my layer stack be the foreground what's in focus or the bottom of the image so say I had a canyon shot where I had the canyon in the foreground and the sky above but it was all in the same focal plane still ground bottom sky top and that's just the way I think so that's kinda how this tutorial is gonna go so to focus stack you can use the Photoshop's automated um, built-in focus stacking but I, I don't love it I don't think it does a great job especially with kind of uh, dynamic scenes or kind of busy scenes. So for that reason I like to do my focus stacking manually. Uh, I'm not going to get into that but I'm just going to show you how we would just blend these two together pretty simply. It doesn't have to be rocket science. If you understand that the foreground is very close, the background is very far, our focal planes go from kind of this area to this area. Um, they're not all on the same plane. So if I just apply a mask using this mask button here, it'll it'll by default add a white mask. But I want to hide most of this because this kind of bottom half of the image is all on this bottom layer. So with this white mask, everything on this layer is being revealed. So I need to hide that by inverting Command or Control I. Now you're not seeing anything on this layer. So if I zoom into 100%, select B for brush or simply select my brush tool I'm using my bracket keys to make this nice and small white brush and I'm gonna set my opacity to 100 percent here so now if I use a white brush I start painting out it's probably best to use a harder brush that way you have less of a transition between the two layers and I can start painting in making sure everything there is in focus. This is a very down and dirty job. Take some time to be more refined with it and you will be happy you did. The results will be a lot better. You know there was a slight change in light in the few seconds between these frames but 
it's not so dramatic that it's obvious when we start blending these small details. So if I hit Alter Option and click on my mask, you can see everything. Now I can pretty much, because I know everything from that point back is all in that focal plane, I can just draw in there, making sure to get it all. So now I have focus stacked this image. But now I want that water, so we're going to do the same thing. Apply a mask, but if we hold all our option when we apply the mask button, it'll invert the foreground background color and you'll get a black mask by default. So you can zoom back in, command plus a couple times, white brush, I'm just going to paint that guy back in. So very simple. Now I've got just the waterfall from that layer and just the trees and this mossy covered boulder and everything in the background that is in focus. You see foreground, everything's blurry, it's blown around in the wind, it's out of focus, but now it's all in focus. Nothing's blowing around, nothing's blurred. So that, very simply, is how we layer and mask.